All right. <clears throat> so I had to uh, um, lock, uh, close the drawing uh, because eventually it was not able to open. So I'm thinking that I'm going to try something else. Um, maybe it's because, you know, perhaps there was the hatch inside, but uh, maybe I don't want, I want to do something else. I want to uh, actually do it piece by piece again like we were doing it before that seemed to be working um, let's see what can we do about this hatch so for everything that the hatch controls I'm going to create a polyline around it like this Uh, what happened to my polyline? Delete that and do another one. Something went wrong. Okay. <clears throat> like so. Like this. Okay, enter. Copy. The same thing down here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wonder what this area is all about. It seems like there's a lot of lines here. I'm not exactly sure. For now, I'm going to leave it the way it is until I have t uh, time to refer those pictures and those drawings to pictures so I can properly understand what's happening there. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to have one of these here as well. Right here. It seems that this is connected to this one.
like this. Enter. And I think there's supposed to be one here as well, but it's missing. So I'm just going to copy this one. Okay, <coughs> so that's that. What else do I need as information? Certainly I need this. Uh, it shows me... Um, Okay. Very interesting gap in between the brick and the window here. Okay. Another line here. My God, Bellissimo, classical music is great. It's 
such finesse and expression. Okay. <laughs> this is very tedious, you know. It takes a minute just to get one line in. <clears throat> okay, let's work with that first, so select that, and uh, select this, entire drawing, layer, okay. I'm going to this is going to be my reference point File, copy, file, uh, edit, paste as a block. Okay. I can now delete this guy. I don't need him anymore. And you, I'm going to simply file, save as. Uh, DXF and I'm going to front elevation, that's good. Save, yes, replace it. Bring back free CAD, file, import, front elevation.
clone that and then um, scale that by 1000 draw a line here as a guide and then select the clone and simply move him from this corner to this corner I want to bring him a little bit more down not a copy Oh, he did a copy here as well. Okay. So that's that. Delete this. Clone in elevation. OK. And move elevation in imported reference clone. Good. That's good. Okay. Uh, because this elevation is a bit crazy with all the lines, and I would like to have better control on what's going on, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to redraw over this in FreeCAD because it's going to be much more convenient to work with FreeCAD uh, redrawn lines. So it's going to be quick and easy. So. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply create a polyline around this. Like this. Like that. And so it'll be easy for me to now simply make the copy uh, adjustments in FreeCAD in this fashion uh, instead of doing that in draft side directly because I like the the way that uh, FreeCAD behaves and the way it feels simple inside draft side so I'm going to make this line sort of red so I can see what's going on uh, line color I'll make you red okay so now that you're red I've got my draft way above you and also if you got any shape I would like them to be a different color and maybe the okay so I can see nice so um, here obviously have a line that does this. I need to be in top view. Delete that. Select that. Snap there. Okay. Hmm. So now perhaps this would be a good place to um, play with the array that I have here. 
as an option if it will ever let me snap okay so select that and I'll read that and the Y and the Y I want a few of them none in that direction and here's zero zero and in the Y I want you to be what's your distance your distance is zero point two. So my array needs to be at an interval of zero point two meters in the y zero point zero two m zero point zero two m okay Now I drop another array. I'm going to copy this array. Paste. And this array, I'm going to select this rectangle. And I'm going to move this rectangle down. No, that was a copy. I meant to move. And tell it's a rate only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine elements, no ten. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna give this another array zero point zero four in the Y. So this is uh, two. None. Here we go to zero, and here we go to zero point zero four M forty. Bingo. Okay. And I will do the same thing here as well. Zero point zero four M. Okay, so now I can clone them. And move this clone on here. New 
new clone. Paste. It's supposed to be one, two, three, four, and five. And this is supposed to be two. Okay. Copy that around.
Okay. All right, we're starting to have something a bit decent. Okay, moving on. What I don't understand is, are the doors on the ground or on the, are they above the slab? It feels like they're above the slab. Yeah, they are above the slab. One thing that I don't understand is why the windows are on the inside rather than towards the outside. It gives you some stuff, some shelf in the inside at least. No. Okay, all right, what else can we extract from this drawing? What the 2D information? Once uh, we're done with all the 3D, uh, with all the 2D, I think that the 3D will go much faster. The 3D aspect of this.
music must change. Nope, not that. Let's try some jazz. Okay, let's try to vibe with this for the next part of this. Okay. Now what I want to get, uh, actually let me delete all of these guys first, select that, current selection, entire drawing, layer, okay, and then delete, okay. So now I'm gonna draw the windows. Not quite. Take it from here and uh, right here. Take it from here. Not quite. Let's take it from right here. right here and take it from right here to right here all right now we can do the same for the interiors like this That is a hatch that I can choose to explode like so and then do the same thing here. Okay. Like this. Like that. Maybe I should draw this line in the middle here. And I can explode you as well. Okay. Now what about my door? Okay. Like that. Not exactly sure I can identify what's going on here. 
So now I'm going to need some reference pictures. Okay, so now I want to acquire the railings. like this all right okay so those are my railings and then this one Okay. Mm-hmm, so now once you get the steps like this
Okay. I think that should be enough of that. So select that, pick that. Current selection, entire drawing. Where's my reference line? I'm going to put one right here. Okay, select that. Layer, entire drawing. Okay. Copy. File. And I'm going to paste as a block. OK. Just select all. And new roll way. You come with me. File. Save. DXF. Front elevation, save, yes, and bring back free CAD file, import, and uh, what do you have? Uh, elevation, front elevation. Okay, so grid block scale there. Thousand enter Okay, file save. So maybe there's no point to actually do everything, everything. So at this point I can start to recognize what could be maybe an essential thing and versus a non-essential. Um, maybe this guy can be interesting. Um, because it appears to me that this is just a, a duplicate of what's happening on this side as well. So, now what about this? Is there any information that we need here? I think in this instance the most critical information now would probably be the sections. Uh, so obtaining the sections. I 
think that that's what I'm going to do instead.